streak may guarantee you a title fight in other divisions, certainly doesn't at 170 pounds. But now, with all the contenders behind him, there is one man left standing. It is this man, the number one welterweight contender, now getting his shot at the dominant champion. And he believes, without a shadow of a doubt, that he is the best 170 in the world. And he is out to prove it right here, right now. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. our tale of the tape for this welterweight championship fight. So these fighters are just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas! It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Shavkat Nomad Rothmanov. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 20 wins, three losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Liverpool, England, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Paddy the Bad. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back your corners, and I'll fight. taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up for him. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. We got him with his hip into that kick. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed. Oh, 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's going for his arm now. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He might get a finish here. Chase the submission finish. Brilliant submission defense there. Oh, right in the mouth. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. Nice straight right lands. 30 seconds remain in the round. 20 seconds left. Take down lands. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. You gotta move him off, and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. This might just be a matter of time. in a long time. Well, it's one thing to earn a UFC title. It's another thing to get it done emphatically the way he did tonight. The undisputed UFC welterweight champion, your winner by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergley out has called to stop to this contest at one minute, 34 seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Shaka Norman Rothman!
Well, he came in a confident number one contender. He leaves as the undisputed best welterweight in the world. And I say that because he didn't just come in here and wrest the belt away from the champion. He's